So indeed low back pain is very common. In fact, it is the second most common cause for a patient to see a physician uh, in the United States. And perhaps the reason why it is so very common is because of the degenerative process that is so common in the lumbar spine. In fact, the degenerative process in the lumbar spine occurs before, before we see degenerative changes anywhere else in the human body. Uh, and this of course results in the discs undergoing degeneration where they can herniate, uh, a patient developing what we call spinal stenosis or spondylolisthesis where one vertebra slips on top of the other. So all these things can cause back pain, but of course the full list of things that can contribute to back pain is rather large. So it's been hard to show why the degenerative process is so common in the uh, lumbar spine. And it's, nobody has been able to show convincingly that it is related to one's posture. People speculate that since we no longer walk on all fours, and that we've been walking on two limbs not for a long enough time in an evolutionary sense, that that perhaps may be a contributory factor to why uh, compressive forces have resulted in degenerative changes in the spine. I think it's extremely important when you first evaluate a patient to try and find out what sort of pain the patient has and whether the pain is mechanical or not. In the vast majority of patients, perhaps over 95% of the patients, the back pain they have is mechanical. We say that a patient has mechanical low back pain when that pain is exacerbated by physical activity or upright posture and tends to be relieved by rest or recumbency. Now, that having been said, when you first encounter a patient, it is extremely important that you make sure that you are not dealing with a patient who has a significant neurological deficit or who does not have a systemic underlying cause that is causing the back pain, such as an underlying infection or an underlying malignancy. And the reason for this is that these systemic causes or neurological compression require specific treatment. If you have neurological compression, for example, a cord equina syndrome, you need urgent decompression. If you have vertebral osteomyelitis, you need urgent antibiotics. But for those patients who don't have these systemic causes, who have the, if you will, garden variety mechanical low back pain, they are all going to be managed in the same conservative, non-specific way. And that doesn't require the same sense of urgency.